one more. Okay, this is what cuts your length and stuff like this for your frames. You don't have to turn it on, just uh, <laughs> just into the okay. you know the lens. Oh, okay. So, and uh, so you you feed it down there. Does the machine automatically pull it through the machine? No, and, the menu, okay. menu. Oh, okay. You menu pull it to the position. Okay. And then just input the the lines you want. Yeah. So okay. The, the cat is automatic. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, the one that I used to use at Retro Windows. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, you put it into the machine. Mm -hmm. The machine will actually pull the length through the machine and cut it for you. No, I know. It, I know this one. It's, yeah. it's it's made in Italy, right? This machine is very expensive. It's uh. Oh, okay. It's uh. It's, 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 that one I remember it's um like. Uh, Around okay. hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Oh. I, I think my boss bought it from the States. It costed around hundred and eighty thousand oh. dollars. Yeah. Because mm. it, it used the window system. So you punched everything on the screen. Yes. And then just put it in the machine it oh, I know. Sucks I know it that one and, a, zzz, 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 and cuts yeah. it for you. Yeah. That's an expensive one, I know. Yeah, about a hundred and eighty thousand yes. dollars, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. So this is where you cut your length. Interesting. Mm. And um Where's your uh, welder that weld the, the frames, the corners together? Okay. <coughs> one. So that one was from China? All of them from China? From China. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And this one is the what? The two point welder here, right here? Yeah, two point. Oh, okay. So you just um, uh, feed it in and mm -hmm. then press the button and then it just, uh, uh, was it? Uh, welds the corners for yeah, you, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And the other cat is uh, this, you know, it's automatic. So oh, you, it, you know, you clean up. oh, it cleans it for you? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. It's a, it's a blade in the, in the machine. You know? Oh, okay. They are cutting. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. No, um, Retro, they used to have a two-point welder. Mm -hmm. And then they, um, then when they got the new computerized one, it was a four-point welder. Uh, so quite expensive. Yeah, it would mm -hmm. clean the corners for you too. Yeah. And then uh, this is where you assemble the oh, frame. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. And um, how how long does it take you to um, <laughs> to assemble one of the frames? About how long? Oh, we did not count it. No, so we don't know. Maybe maybe, maybe yeah, a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. Maybe, uh, no, I mean to to put the frame together, like vertical T bar. Mm. Um, put the locks on. Mm -hmm. um, what is it put the put the slider in there stuff yeah. like this mm -hmm. screw the um uh was it screw the screw in yeah, to yeah, hold to hold the, the glass the bar. uh not the glass but just to assemble the frame like uh, maybe just five five minutes six minutes i think okay yeah pretty yeah. quick yeah yeah that's yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. good yeah mm -hmm. and then um over here i guess uh is where you make, uh, make the glass yes. yeah okay and um is it uh see uh, at retro windows okay they just punch on the screen um you know all the sizes that you want the computer automatically figures out you know all the dimensions and then the, it's all automatic it, it scores it for you yeah, yeah. You have over there. The glass okay. Okay, let's have a look at. Yeah. Here. Okay. Yeah. So we just, look... we just input the the, the size. Okay. So the cat is a, is, a, is a by the machine by. The so machine. you you punch in the information over there. Yes. Okay, and yeah. then the, the glass cutter automatically scores it for you? Yes. And then you just snap it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is it, is that from China too, that yes, machine? China, yes. Oh, okay. Mm. Was it quite expensive or? Not, I think this one, maybe 50,000. Oh, okay. Not bad. Not, Not bad, yeah. Because I think the, the one that Retro had probably cost <laughs> at least, you know, about uh, $180,000, yeah, right? Yeah, I think yeah but then i see that it looks like um did did you make this table yourself no or no no it it, it, it uh you it got this ta table oh okay yeah so this table see came that, from china that's it, oh okay yeah okay 
it just looks like it, uh, almost like it was homemade when I look at it, right? Yeah. I see two by fours, I see screws, right? It looks like uh, somebody uh, made it homemade or something at home. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I guess they use uh, less expensive material and then, you know, it costs less to make, right? And then I see that you put all the glass over there, right? When it's yes. ready, yes. right? Yeah, cool. And then what's, uh, is this the glass washing machine right here? Yes. Oh, okay. And I see that uh, uh, it, it comes from China too, right? Yeah, Fong Chan. Yeah. Was, was this expensive? Okay, well, that's, that's not bad. That's pretty good. And then I see that you use the rack over there to inspect the glass, right? With yes. UV light before you, um, uh, before you ship it out, right? So it's... Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. No, it's uh, and then you make the screens all up over there. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Uh, do you make the do you make the uh these at the at the warehouse, John? Like these um, yeah, sure. uh, these oval type oval of uh, area, windows uh, right here. Area. You you do it here, right? Yeah. Right yeah. Because I know that those. There's a machine that does it over there? Yeah. Oh, okay. So there's the oval um, type of windows right there. That's one of those uh, chicken kernel. Chicken kernel, we should put the, you know, the, oh, okay. the proper inside the, the heat the... Heat, heat, the, um, uh, heat the material, the material that you are able to yeah. bend it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah bend it. Oh, okay. Because I know that that's really expensive to get done. Um, yes. You know, like uh, I know some uh, companies, they don't do it themselves. They get another company to yes. do it and it costs a lot of money to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's tricky to do too. You have to have experience measuring it and you also have to have some experience um, uh, making it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, cool. Okay. Thanks for showing me. Yeah. Oh, you can cover, right? Yeah, but I can't turn my buckle on up there anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what you saw there in the warehouse was um, uh, a lot of different machinery, right? Um, most of the machines um, uh, caught costed a, between $10,000 and $20,000 um, from talking to John. Uh, John is um, one of the owners of that window company. And um, when he bought it about five years ago off of Sean, uh, all, the, all the machinery in there were, was, wow, it was a lot older and it was kind of like manual machines. Now he's upgraded um, a lot of the machinery in the warehouse to computerize right now. Um, he told me that all the machines um, came from China and I think um, um, well China sells the machines a lot less than um, uh, what other countries sell them for and um, I think it still does um, a decent job maybe not a um, as good as um, some other machines that I've seen um, that cost like $180,000 for like one machine. Um, when I was with um, Peter's company, um, all the machinery was um, uh, manual before, okay? And then um, I guess after about seven or eight years, they upgraded all the machinery to computerize. And I was the guy that was actually, I, I unpacked the crates. So, and I also helped uh, set up some of the machines too. So just looking at it, yeah, it looked like it was um, at least over $100,000. And, you know, from looking at it, it looked like, yeah, um, it cost about $180,000 for each machine. And um, you have to remember too, um, when you have a piece of equipment that expensive, okay, you really have to trust your workers um, who's ever going to be working on it, okay? Because I could see Peter 
the manager talking to one of the workers, okay? Um, he was just telling the young lady, you do not operate this machine, you do not go near it, okay? Um, because, you know, she was kind of a, a new worker, right? And, you know, you don't want to put a new worker on a $180,000 machine, right? Because imagine if she, uh, well, injured herself with it or even broke it, right? Um, it might cost like $10,000 to get it fixed, right? Um, it was very interesting. It was nice to see uh, John's um, setup in his um, in his warehouse. Okay, I'm glad that he um, he well he gave me a tour of his warehouse. And um, uh, one of the things I was amazed about was okay, he showed me the machine where you stick the vinyl in. It kind of like heats it up, and then you can literally bend it into an oval. Okay, because believe it or not, there's a lot of homes around the lower mainland here that have that oval shaped window. Okay, and um, I know that that's really expensive to get done. Okay, I forget how much done. I remember years ago, but it was expensive. I think it was, um, to take a guess, years ago, I think it was just, I think it was as much as like $800 to $1,000 to, to get a, um, just to get that um, uh, that bend into the that oval into the frame, okay, a thousand dollars. So you know that was quite a few years ago. So I wouldn't be surprised it costs even more money right now because it's um it's a bit of work, okay. And then you know you have to buy the special machine to do it. Um, you have you have to have somebody skilled in the warehouse to um, to make it too, okay. Um, but, um, that day I was at the warehouse uh, making that video, I was, um, I was picking up some sealed units and glass um, uh, at, at John's warehouse. So it was nice that, yeah, he gave me, um, he let me take a tour of his company, okay. Um, you got to see, um, well, inside a, a modern um, uh, Biden window company, okay. Um, Peter's company, um, everything was laid out a lot more neat. Um, there was just more, a lot more room in the warehouse. And, um, you know, they always kept the machines clean, okay? Um, there wasn't as much clutter around, okay? Um, you have to remember, I worked three years, um, well, uh, in the warehouse. So, you know. Um, I was gonna say that the work is not for everybody, okay? Um, just because, you know, you're working very quickly too, okay? And uh, there's there's a lot of high pitch noise from the from the machines, and after sometimes eight hours of work in the warehouse, you realize after you finish your shift, you have a headache. Right? Um, you can wear those earmuffs, okay, to protect your ears. Um, but it's just sometimes you have to talk to people and you know it's kind of a nuisance always pulling down the earmuffs, pulling them up, pulling them down, pulling them up. So you know that's why a lot of workers um, uh, didn't wear it. And I do tip my hat off to the workers that I was working with at the warehouse years ago before because during the summertime months it was so busy like um, a lot of the work, full-time workers were working like um, 60, 70 hours a week, okay? So, you know, their shift would have finished around, well, 7 to 3.30, right? Something like that. And, um, you know, they would be working an additional maybe three, even four hours, okay? So they stayed at the warehouse till about 7 o'clock, and then they went home, right? Um, and, um... You know, you have to remember, okay, they had to um, be ready for work again, 7 in the morning again, right? Um, and, um, you know, I know that, um, uh, you know, the manager asked me if I wanted to work the overtime. I said no, okay? Um, you know, after eight hours, I was pretty tired, right? And, um, you know, I do tip my hat off to those other workers that were working like um, 140 hours sometimes in a two-week period, right? Um, that's, that's not easy. Um, 
that, that's hard. Even one of the installers, one of the workers said, um, just saying how tired they look, right? And um, yeah, um, you know, you're gonna be tired, yeah, if you um, if you work like a, a like a seventy hour seventy hour week, right? Uh, because um, uh, warehouse work is not for everybody. Okay, um, you have to be um, uh, you have to have the skill for it. You have to have a lot of determination, discipline, right? 